Hi, my name is Nikhil Gupta. My GRE score is 339. I am a pass out from Delhi College of Engineering and I am in Dor. I have been working in the financial services industry for the past seven years. I started my GRE prep uh, two months before I actually gave the exam. I started the preparation by myself. I uh, talked to my friends, I talked to my parents. But during the preparation, I realized that I would require some external guidance. And that is when I decided to join MJ. Uh, at MJ, I took up the weekend classes, uh, which are actually seven hour classes uh, on Saturdays and Sundays. And it's a rigorous course uh, spanning over a one and a half month period. And it actually helped me uh, get my work schedule fit into my, uh, or my GRE prep actually fit into my work schedule. CT at MJ actually uh, helped me a lot uh, in my preparation. Uh, they made me conversant with the mental aspects of giving the exam. Plus, uh, they uh, gave me, they told me the importance of practice. Why should I practice? And how should I actually analyze my results? And uh, this on the exam day helped me engaging my own accuracy uh, during the exam and uh, doing well. Score of 330 plus in GRE. Uh, during the exam, uh, basically I got quant as the first section. Now while do doing the exam, uh, uh, midway during the exam I realized that the questions that I was facing were very difficult. And uh, I had never expected that such kind of questions would come on the GRE exam in the main paper. Uh, but uh, the concepts that I had practiced during my preparation, uh, they actually come to, came to my rescue and uh, I was able to solve the exam within the time period that was uh, stipulated and I was confident uh, after giving that section that uh, I had done well. If not 20, I would be getting at least 18 or 19 in the exam and that helped me in the uh, other sections, uh, verbal as well as the math section. And it helped me that this section probably might have been the practice section, the experimental section that comes in GRE because the next two quant sections that I got were very easy. As is obvious, the uh, preparation strategy involves uh, quant, verbal and vocab. Uh, for quant, I would recommend uh, the classes uh, at MJ because the questions that were done uh, during the class were of a very high difficulty level and conceptual, which actually helped me score a 170 uh, on the exam day. Coming to vocab, uh, I would say that the visual technique that is uh, through which vocab is taught at MJ was very helpful to me. Uh, it helped me in retaining the words, it helped me in revising the words. Uh, the word family uh, through which uh, words which have a similar meaning are bunched together, uh, that is a very helpful technique and uh, I would say recalling words during the GRE, I was assisted by this technique uh, in doing that. To prepare for the GRE, I would recommend you take a two month period, then divide your prep into uh, three parts. One is AWA, one is quant, one is verbal. Uh, for the AWA section, I would say uh, you should not read too much into it. Uh, your practice during the mocks when you give it uh, just before the exam would uh, give you practice for the final day and you will be able to do well. For quant, uh, I would recommend uh, that the questions that we did at uh, the coaching classes uh, were very helpful. Apart from that, you should uh, use Manhattan 5LV, practice from that, mark all the difficult questions and revise them just before the exam so that you have that confidence that you would be able to solve any difficult questions even if they come on the exam. Otherwise, the questions that are there on the GRE are pretty easy in maths. The verbal section, I would divide it into uh, two parts. One is the vocab and one is the normal RC and uh, sentence equivalence. For vocab, uh, the thing that helped me a lot were uh, the word list that I did at my institute. Uh, secondly, apart from that, I uh, used two ebooks. Uh, one was uh, the Magush ebook that gives you 250 to 300 words. It's freely available. Uh, second book was uh, the Barron's 1100 words you should know. So these two books, I did it over time. Uh, over a one month period so you should probably uh, target it uh, target to complete those books over a one month period and then revise it once before the exam uh, the word list that i did in class i revised them two or three times all the difficult words i tried to form links for them uh, but mostly it was revision that actually helped me for the rc and the sentence equivalence uh, the sentence equivalence part is majorly taken care of by the vocab preparation uh, for the final part, uh, the material, uh, the verbal reasoning part, I would recommend uh, the material that I did at the institute as well as uh, questions from Manhattan 5LV. 
because they are the closest I found to the uh, actual GRE exam and that should be done over a one month period. One uh, tip that is there uh, that should actually be followed by anyone who is given the GRE is time management and uh, whenever you practice, uh, practice all your questions in a timed way. Uh, one strategy that was uh, very helpful to me which was taught to me by my faculty was take up sets of 50 questions, uh, 25 RC, 25 uh, sentence completion and do that in 75 minutes and uh, practice that uh, alternate days or every day and uh, that actually helped me a lot.